What's up guys, welcome to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Trivia. This week we're doing another archetype and we're doing the Roid archetype. So the Roid archetype are cards that were released in Cybernetic Revolution and then further supported in Power of the Duelist as well as Gladiator's Assault. All Roid monsters are cartoon versions of different types of vehicles. They were used by Cyrus Truesdale in the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX anime and manga. More recently though, Yugo in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 series also used a sub-archetype of the Roids called Speed Roids. Also, it is important it's important to keep in mind that while the following are not technically a part of the archetype, Elemental Hero, Necroid Shaman, Dark Joy Roid, and Magical and Droid are also Roid monsters due to having Roid in their names. So however we get stuck in first with the Vehicroid archetype, Ambulance Roid. Its effect is when a Roid monster is added from your graveyard to your hand, you can special summon that monster. So this card's Japanese name is based off of the Japanese onomatopoeia for an ambulance siren, or the Japanese word for ambulance. This monster appears in the artwork of Red Roid Call. Armoroid. If this card is tribute summoned by tributing at least one roid monster, banish all spell and trap cards on the field. This card is the first roid monster whose design is based on a space shuttle. The second one was a more obvious representation known as Shuttle Roid. This card has a counterpart, Super Vehicle Roid Stealth Union, and this card's design resembles a Transformer. However, its face resembles a Gundam. Carrier Roid. When an opponent activates a card effect that targets and destroys a spell or trap card you control, you can discard one card to negate its activation and destroy that card. Now this card is based on an aircraft carrier. As such, this card's name is a combination of the word carrier and the name Roid. Psychroid. His card description reads, the most lovable and friendly of all the vehicroids. It can arm itself with training wheels. Decoy Roid. While this card is faced upon your side of the field, your opponent cannot select a face-up monster as an attack target except Decoy Roid. Now this is the first Vehicroid monster that has no face. This card is based on a remote controlled car. And as such, this card's name may come from the fact that RC vehicles are sometimes used to distract people in movies. Drill Roid. His effect is, before damage calculation, if this card attacks a defense position monster, destroy that monster. Now this card is a fusion material for both Vehicroid Monsters, Super Vehicroid Jumbo Drill, as well as Super Vehicroid Stealth Union. Express Roid. When this card is summoned, you can target two Roid Monsters in your graveyard, except Express Roid. Add those targets to your hand. This card's design is based off of the 300 series Shinkansen. In the TCG, this card was released in sets, starter deck Cyrus Truesdale and Gladiator's Assault. Ironically, in the US, it was re-released in Gladiator's Assault after being first released in starter deck Cyrus Truesdale. Gyroid. Once per turn, this card cannot be destroyed by battle. Now, this monster is based on the Gyrocopter. This was the first monster that couldn't be destroyed by battle to have a once per turn restriction imposed on it. This monster appears in the artworks of Roid Reinforcements and Red Roid Call. Jet Roid. At the time this card is selected as an attack target by an opponent's monster, you can activate trap cards from your hand. This monster appears in the artwork of March of the Roids and Red Roid Call. Patroid. Once per turn during your main phase, you can look at one face down card your opponent controls then return it to its original position. The name Patroid is a portmanteau of the words Patrol and Roid, with the word Patrol coming from Patrol Car. This monster appears in the artwork of Roid Reinforcements and Red Roid Call, and this card has some common points with Barricade from the movie Transformers. They have wheels on each hand, are under disguise in the forms of US police cars, and the fact that they are both machines. Mixeroid. His effect is you can tribute one machine type monster, special summon one non wind roid monster from your deck. You can pay half your life points, then banish any number of machine type monsters from your graveyard, including this card, special summon one roid fusion monster from your extra deck, with a level equal to the total number of monsters banished to activate this effect, ignoring its summoning condition, but destroy it during the end phase. You can only use its effect of mixeroid once per turn. The image from polymerization appears on this monster. 
monster. And this monster's design bears some similarities to the Transformers character Mix Master, in terms of both the vehicle and colour scheme. Rescue Roid his effect is, when a roid monster you control is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can return that monster to its owner's hand. This is one of the two fire attribute vehicroid monsters. The other is Ambulance Rescue Roid. This monster appears in the artwork of Red Roid Call. Shuttle Roid. When this card is targeted for an attack, you can banish this card. During your next standby phase, special summon this card banished by this effect. If summoned this way, inflict 1000 damage to your opponent. This is the only OCG Roid monster that is unreleased in the TCG. Strangely, this card has never appeared in any of the Tag Force series, even when this card had already been released at the time. Stealth Roid. If this card attacks, destroy one spell or trap card at the end of the battle phase, if you control another Roid monster. This card is the only dark attribute Vehicroid monster. This card also has the lowest defense points out of all the Vehicroid monsters. And this card is the only Vehicroid without visible eyes. Instead, it appears to have shades of some sort. While this card is an F117A Nighthawk stealth fighter in the TCG, in the manga, however, it is a B2A spirit stealth bomber. Steamroid. If this card attacks an opponent's monster, this card gains 500 attack during the damage step only. If this card is attacked by an opponent's monster, this card loses 500 attack during the damage step only. Now this card's effect is symbolic of the type of vehicle it is based on. A steam locomotive is all but unstoppable with forward momentum, but they can also be pushed backwards on the tracks when not in motion. Submarine Roid. His effect is this card can attack your opponent directly, but when it does so using this effect, the battle damage inflicted to your opponent is the original attack of this card. At the end of the damage step, if this card attacked or was attacked, you can change this card to defense position. This card's effect simulates the type of vehicle it is based on, a submarine that launches a long range attack before submerging again. This card's second effect resembles that of Crystal Beast Emerald Tortoise, and this monster appears in the artwork of Red Roid Call. Truckroid. When this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, equip the destroyed monster to this card. This card gains attack equal to the combined attack of the monsters equipped to it by its effect. Its effect may resemble that of a truck, as they are often used to store a lot of supplies for future use. Hence, this card stores the monsters it destroys to raise its own attack. UFO Roid. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one machine type monster with 1500 or less attack from your deck in face up attack position. UFO Roid appears in the artwork of Roid Reinforcements, and this card represents Cosmos from Transformers. Also, the Eye Laser is similar from War of the Worlds from the 1953 film. Moving on to the fusions, UFO Roid Fighter. This monster requires a UFO Roid and one warrior type monster. A fusion summon of this card can only be conducted with the above fusion material monsters. The original attack and defense of this card becomes equal to the combined original attack of the two fusion material monsters you used for the fusion summon of this card. The warrior type monster shown on top of the machine type monster UFO Roid is Elemental Hero Tempest, which is appropriate because the first warrior to become UFO Roid fighter was Elemental Hero Tempest in the anime. It could be argued that this is GX's equivalent to Dark Flare Knight or Black Skull Dragon. Dragon, because it is a fusion monster of the main character's cards, Elemental Hero Tempest, and his best friend's card, UFO Roid. This card shares more similarities with Black Skull Dragon, however, as both monsters made their debut appearance in a duel against the Paradox Brothers. The maximum attack this card can achieve with its effect is 6200. This can be done by using Flower Cardian Light Flare as the warrior type monster. Pair Psychroid. It requires two machine type monsters with the same name. This card can attack your opponent directly. Now this monster's attack is the sum of the attack of two Psychroids. And this monster is based on a tandem bicycle, also known as a twin, which is a bicycle designed to be ridden by more than one person. Steam Gyroid. This monster requires Gyroid and Steamroid to be summoned. This monster appears in the artwork of Dimension Explosion. Ambulance Rescue Roid. This monster requires Rescue Roid and Ambulance Roid to be summoned. His effect is it cannot be special summoned except by Fusion Summon. Once per turn when a monster on your side of the field is destroyed by a battle and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon that monster in defense position. 
This card's effect is the sum of using both effects of its components in conjunction. However, this card's effect can be used on any monster that is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, and its effect can only be used once per turn. This card's name is also a combination of both components' names. This card has the highest attack and defense and levels out of all the fire attribute Vehicroid monsters. And this monster appears in the artwork of Redroid Call. Barbaroid, the ultimate battle machine. Requiring five machine type roid monsters, his effect is this card can make a second attack during each battle phase. This card cannot attack your opponent directly. After damage calculation, if this card attacked an opponent's monster, negate the effects of that monster, including in the graveyard. If this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, inflict 1000 damage to your opponent. This card is based on, and resembles, a Valve. Barbaroid, the ultimate battle machine, has the highest attack and defense points and level out of all the Vehicroid monsters. The original fusion material monsters of this card are... Einroid, Zweiroid, Dryroid, Vieroid, and Funfroid, whose names are German for the numbers 1 through 5. Uh, apologies for me, butchering majority of those. I know I say Zwei wrong, it's like dry, I think. This card bears a slight resemblance to Rhodes Synchron, as well as Mechlord Emperor Grinnell. This card's fusion requirements make it appear as a Roid counterpart to Five-Headed Dragon. This is the first of two level 12 Earth attribute monsters. The second monster is TG Halberd Cannon, which also has the same attack and defense total. The machine type Roid monsters in the text was probably done to avoid mixing other cards with Roid in them, like Dark Gyroid into the fusion material monsters. And this monster appears in the artwork of Ultimate Machine Union. Super Vehicroid Mobile Base requires one Roid fusion monster and one Roid monster. Its effect is you can target one face up monster your opponent controls, special summon one Roid monster from your deck or extra deck with attack equal to or less than the targeted monsters. You can only use the effect of Super Vehicle Roid mobile base once per turn. Once per turn during the end phase you can target one other Roid monster in your main monster zone, return that target to the hand and if you do move this card to the monster zone. This card has the highest original defense of all Earth machine type and roid monsters. It is also the first monster with 5000 defense that does not also have 5000 attack. This monster being a base and a robot is similar to the multiple robots from the Transformers franchise, including the City Formers and the Power Rangers franchise, including the Delta Command Megazord. This card lives up to its name as its effect moves into another monster's zone and it summons roid monsters from your extra deck. Turntables feature on the artwork of Vehicroid Connection Zone can be seen in the background of this card's artwork. Super Vehicroid Stealth Union. Requiring Truckroid, Expressroid, Drillroid, and Stealthroid, when this card attacks, its original attack is halved until the end of the damage step. During battles between this attacking card and a defense position monster, whose defense is lower than the attack of this card, inflict the difference as battle damage to your opponent. Once per turn, during your main phase, you can select one face-up monster on the field except a machine-type monster and equip it to this card. While equipped by this effect, this card can attack all monsters your opponent controls once each. This card is a direct tribute to Gao Gai Gar from the 1997 Sunrise anime. In Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal episode 15, this card is featured as a statue. Super Vehicroid Jumbo Drill. Requiring Steamroid, Drillroid, and Submarine Moid, a fusion summon of this card can only be conducted with the above fusion material monsters. During battle between this attacking card and defense position monster whose defense is lower than the attack of this card, inflict the difference as battle damage to your opponent. And with that, guys, that is all the Vehicroid monsters. I'm going to call this a part one. In part two, whenever that comes out, we're going to be covering the Speedroid archetype. What do you actually think of this archetype? Because overall, it's not the best, if I'm completely honest. Yeah, but uh, yeah, let me know what you thought in the comment section below and thanks a lot for watching